Hey, it's me, Fish, your host for Ugly Red, Source of All Evil. <coughs> Today I'm doing the unboxing of Pop-Up Pack. Um, I don't remember... I mean, it's, it's the latest ones, I know. Um, but I need to look it up on my list here. It's for... Uh, Hold on. Okay, so the last one I did was the second comedy pack, which was week 16. And week 17 was anime animations number two, the second one. They didn't have any mystery packs. And week 18 was the year in clearance, so no mystery packs for that. Week 19 was drama again. And westerns, but no mystery packs for that week either. However, week 20, spitting, week 20 and 21 both had mystery packs. Uh, week 20 was the fourth thrillers pop up pack, and week 21 is uh, was the sci fi fantasy third edition, the third time they done sci fi and fantasy. And both of those are Blu ray packs and they have DVD packs. Mystery packs. Uh, this week's is week 22, which is uh, screen cleaning number three. Uh, essentially, horror pack number two um, for pop up packs, anyway. But there's no mystery packs because it's just basically screen cleaning. Uh, they're selling a bunch of older stock and some other horror movies that they haven't had before. Now, next week is going mysteries and crime. <clears throat> That'll be week 23. But I don't know if there's going to be a mystery pack or not because that won't start till Sunday. And it's only Friday right now. So, But let's get into the mysteries. Okay, the first will be the sci uh, well, not the sci fi, uh, the thriller, because the thriller came out first. Um, so, for like I said, what was it, week number 20? Yeah, week number 20, the fourth installment of their thriller's pop up pack. Now, I've already opened them, so it's basically not an unboxing. It's more of a uh, showing you what came in them. Man, I'm thirsty. Okay. First one is Sleuth. Michael Caine and Jude Law. Next is a really good one, Al Pacino and Dog Day Afternoon. I haven't seen Sleuth, but uh, I remember this one. <clears throat> and this right here has already made it a great pack. But there's two more. The Perfect Host, which I've not never seen, but it's got... Uh, Fraser's brother in it, the one actor that plays his brother. And lastly, which is another really good movie, which I'm glad it was included in this pack because I, I, after all these years, I still haven't had got around to buy my own copy. But now I've got one thanks to uh, the mystery pop up pack, and it's seven. Now, it's not a special edition or anything. It does have some nifty little special features, but still, it's well worth worth it for for the pop-up pack. So, to recap, week number 20, Thrillers pop-up pack. Walk off. Got Sleuth. Dog Day Afternoon. Perfect Host. And Seven. And now for week 21, which is sci-fi and mystery, sci-fi and mystery, <sighs> sci-fi and fantasy, the third edition of Pop-Up Pack being sci-fi and fantasy. Like I said, Pop-Up Pack it does themes every week. I didn't mention that at the beginning of the video, but I have a link in, in my description for uh, uh, you to check out Pop-Up Pack. It's a free subscription. Um, 
you do have to give your credit card number um, because I don't know why. But anyway, um, it, it's free to register, but you have to be registered in order to see the list of what movies are in a pop-up pack. And, and you basically get to build your own pack with that list of movies that range from $4 to $5, some even like $10 or whatever. <clears throat> and with a flat $5 shipping to U.S. Uh, like I said, there will be more information if you need it <clears throat> in the link below <clears throat> in my description. And every week they do different themes. Like this one I just done was the thriller theme, which they've done before. Because uh, this is the fourth time. And this is the third time they're doing sci-fi and fantasy. So, let's get into this mystery pack. Oh, and let me kind of clear things up just in case you're still wondering well, what mystery pack, build your own pack, what? Um, there's a list once you subscribe. There's a list you get every week, and they'll have a bunch of movies that you could choose from and build your own pack. Or, in most weeks, not every week, but most weeks they'll have a mystery pack too, uh, which would be four movies, either on Blu-ray or DVD or sometimes both. And um, you won't know what you're going to get. It's just like the horror packs. There are mystery packs every month. These are mystery packs almost every week. But it's still four movies. Just like the horror pack. So here's Sci-Fi Fantasy third horror, or horror third pop-up mystery pack. Crawl. Pretty awesome, huh? Jupiter Ascending. I always, I've been wanting to see this since I've seen the trailer a while back. Mainly because of Mila Kunis. Uh, I don't really care about Channing Tatum. If I was gay, maybe I would. But, anyway. And then, the Gamera double feature. And finally, the Golden Compass. Really, ex I don't want to say excited, but I'm really glad that I, this came in this week's mystery pack because it's a movie I've been wanting to get for a long time. Um, I, li I like it because of the atheist aspect of it. Um, I'm not too sure how atheist -y it is since I haven't actually seen it, but the author, Philip Pullman, of The Golden Compass, His Dark Materials, series, which includes The Golden Compass, is an atheist. And uh, he writes a lot of good books. Um, I don't remember much of The Golden Compass. That's why I've been wanting to watch the movie. Um, I know it's probably going to be way different than a book. That's usually the way movie adaptions are, but, you know, what are we going to do? Anyway, let's recap the sci-fi fantasy mystery pop-up pack, week 21. Golden Compass. Gamera Double Feature. Jupiter Ascending. And Crawl. That's it for the pop-up packs, the mystery packs. I didn't order any extras uh, movies. I just ordered a mystery packs. Uh, and I'll do that every week. They have mystery packs. So uh, if you're watching my channel, curious what you missed out on when you did, because you didn't order the, uh, uh, the mystery pack, check out my channels, check out my unboxings, or in this case, my reviews of what's in them. Uh, and you can hunt them down on your own if you want them. Or wait. Until the next time they do those packs, like sci-fi and fantasy, when they do a fourth version of that. Uh, more than likely, some of these movies will be in their list of what ones you could choose to buy. That usually happens. So, if there's a mystery pack, and then later on, they have the same theme. Oftentimes, they'll have the leftovers from the mystery packs that they put in on the sale list that you could choose from if you wanted to buy one. But, I mean, you know, that's no big deal because never, 
if you didn't get the mystery pack, you didn't know you're not going to know that these that the list of the new of these movies were from a mystery pack. So yeah. Yeah, sir. Uh, I don't think I'm making too much sense, but you know, I, I hardly ever do. So, uh. okay, that's it for now. Uh, I'll be doing my horror pack next, which is the Blu-ray. I've already opened it, mainly because I've already seen several different people doing their unboxings of it. So, so my review of January twenty eighteenth horror. Pack Blu-ray coming up soon. See you then.